guys, welcome to the very first day of Vlogist. I'm super excited to be participating in this and I want to thank Isela's Crafting Life again because she's the one who brought this to my attention. So I set up myself a little list of what I'm going to cover each time. So the things I'm going to talk about are my crochet whips, shop updates, Cody check-in, and a pattern highlight of the week. And I've given myself some rules. I am not allowed to go over five minutes and I must post every day. I kind of want to put in a time and be like, I need to post by 5 p.m. or something, but uh, that'll be an unspoken rule. So let's jump in. So my first whip is down here. And this is my main whip that I'm working on right now. I do have a lot of whips going, but I'm just going to look at the ones that I'm really focused on that I've worked on either today or yesterday. And that is my granny square blanket. And I love the bright color, so I decided to do these crazy bright colors. The variegated is Red Heart in Day Glow. And the hot pink, that one is Michael's Craft Smart in Neon Pink. So just what I'm working on, I've used one skein already of the variegated and almost one of the pink. And I have, I have, I started off with six of the variegated and a little bit more than uh, almost four of the hot pink. So we'll see how far I can get on this project. I do want to have more of the variegated than the hot pink. So I'm excited about that. All right. So that is for my first whip. My next whip is something I started this morning, and this is as far as I've gotten. I don't know if you can tell what it is, but it is going to be a amigurumi raspberry pie, and this is just the pie tin, and something I've never done before, but the pattern called for you to trace the bottom on a piece of thick cardboard, cut it out, and use that as a base, and I do like that because it feels like it's going to be you know, it's going to have a really nice flat base because most of my amigurumis, the bottom usually kind of sticks out a little bit. So I'm excited to see how it works with this base. All right, chef update time. Um, oops, not that much going on with the shop. I've been working a lot on making different keychains. So I use these so much and I gift these a lot too because they're so convenient. They are hand sanitizer holders and inside I put one of the Bath & Body Works hand sanitizers and this is my absolute favorite Bath & Body scent for the hand sanitizers champagne toast it's like super fruity love it so much so I make these little keychains and you just slide your sanitizer in it, it has a snap where's the snap and a little clip and I keep these usually clipped to the outside of my purse so whenever I touch something, I can just open it and squeeze out a little bit. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> I hear the cats running like crazy. Speaking of cats, Cody check in. Cody is doing great. He, yesterday, he, I love him. Yesterday, he was a problem though. He was getting into stuff. Like, usually most of the day, he's kind of just napping, you know, eating, that kind of stuff. But yesterday, he was bored. So he didn't want to stay in his area. He wanted to come into the bedroom. So I let him in here and he got into stuff. At one point, he jumped up in my chair. I'll put a picture of it because it, it, it was cute, but that scared me. <laughs> so yeah, he, he's roaming around a lot and he's doing great. And I'll pop in a picture of how adorable he is on my chair. One thing I have noticed since this has happened, his coloring has actually changed. Like his ears and his face, they were super, super dark, but they've like become speckled with like gray. So I'm like, oh, was he that stressed that it made him gray some? I don't know. Maybe it'll change back. Cause I think the Siamese, their coloring can kind of change a little bit, especially with like weather. So we'll see if he goes back or is he going to stay with this little bit of gray. All right. And what I'm super excited about. I will pop up a picture of this too. This is the pattern that I want to make so badly. I'll pop up a picture so you can see it better, but it is a corner to corner blanket. So cute. It has a camper van and tree, like a forest background. I want to make this so bad. Like this is from, let me see. This is from a magazine. Oh, it's from Crochet World magazine. Autumn 2023 edition, so the newest one for the newest edition of Crochet World. 
and I read all of my magazines on the app Magster, so I'll put a link to it in case you want to check it out. I think it's a great deal. Um, but yeah, so I just, oh, do I love this. I wanted to start this immediately as soon as I saw it, but the reason I didn't start it is you actually need three shades of green. So the grass is like this neon, super bright green. There's one dark tree, one medium tree, and then one kind of really like kind of foresty tree. I have that dark tree, the, the, the really dark like green. I have that. I have some of the lighter one, but I don't have enough of a really bright green or I, I might have enough of this kind of grayish foresty green, but I'm not sure. So I'm actually going to go through my stash and see if I can get enough of these colors because this is cute and I have to make this. I this was early when I was really into making blankets. I did make quite a few of these corner to corners. You know, I love doing them. I don't like having like all the bobbins going because that kind of gets annoying, <laughs> but I love the results. So I definitely want to start this because it's a camper van and I absolutely love camper themed things. I don't I've never gone camping, but I just love like decor that has the camper van. So that is my very first vlogist. And I want to thank you guys for sticking around and I hope that I will be uploading at least one vlogist vlog every day and it is still so difficult for me to say that. But thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.